So we're going to do another example of a collision question in momentum. Suppose these two wrecking balls are moving towards each other at maximum velocity. The one on the left has a mass of 1000 kilograms and is moving at 40 meters per second towards the right. And the one on the right has a mass of 1200 kilograms and is moving at a speed of 50 meters per second in the opposite direction. Now, you know what's gonna happen next. These balls are gonna to smash together. After they smash, you wanna know which direction these balls are gonna be moving towards. Are they gonna to move towards the right? Or are they gonna to go to the left? And we can calculate that because we know how to do momentum. So going back to our initial scenario, we're going to call this scenario the before. So let's work out what the total momentum is before they collide. Now remember, the first thing you wanna do is show which direction is positive velocity. So what that means is I'm going to draw an arrow, let's say pointing towards the right. So that means anything that's moving in this direction has a positive velocity, meaning anything that goes in the other direction should have negative velocity. All that means is they're moving in opposite directions. The ball on the right will have a negative sign in front of the velocity because it's moving in the opposite direction to the ball on the right. So how do we work out their momentums? So again, remember the formula was momentum is equal to mass times by velocity. So for this ball, the momentum is going to be 1,000 times by 40, which gives you 40,000. And for the ball on the right, it's going to be 1,200 times by minus 50, which gives you minus 60,000. Perfect. So now we have momentum for both balls. But remember, the total momentum is going to be the sum of all of the individual momentums, meaning that to find the total momentum in this scenario, I'm going to have to add them together. After adding, that gives me a final answer of minus 20,000. And that is the total momentum in the before scenario. So now we can see that the balls have collided, and this is our after scenario. From here, we want to work out which direction these balls are going to move. Are they going to go to the right? or are they gonna to move to the left? So basically, we wanna know what their velocity will be. Now, you can think of these balls as one single unit because they've come together. So I'm gonna write the formula, momentum is equal to mass times by velocity. Now remember, we said the ball on the left has a mass of 1,000 kilograms, and the ball on the right has a mass of 1,200 kilograms. Since now they are one unit, that means they have a combined mass of 2200 kilograms. Now we're going to times that by their velocity. Since we want to work that out, we can just call that a V for now. So to work out their momentum, we just have to remember our rule about conservation of momentum, which means that the total momentum before is equal to total momentum after. We worked out the total momentum before was minus 20,000. That means that's going to be the same for after the collision because momentum is conserved. So now putting that into our formula gives us minus 20,000 is equal to 2200 times the velocity. All we have to do now is make V the subject of the formula, divide both sides by 2200, which gives us an answer of minus 9 meters per second to one significant figure. Since it's a negative answer, that means the balls will be moving towards the left by 9 meters per second. Hey guys, if that video helped you, support our channel by liking, subscribing, and sharing it with your friends. And more importantly, if you still have questions, drop a post on our forum at examqa.com, where I will personally be there to help answer your questions. Mohammed signing out.